Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and what's up? Hey everybody, I'm Stacy, and welcome back to my channel to all of my existing subscribers and to all my new subscribers. Hello, sit down, get a drink, get a snack, and welcome to this week's video. All right, we got another condo to take a look at. Uh, this condo was uh, first viewed on May 10th of this year. Uh, let's give you, let me give you guys the particulars off memory. This condo was $115,000. It was a two bed, one bath condo, um, stainless steel appliances. It had an in-unit washer and dryer. Uh, let's see what else, what else, what else? It pretty much ticked all the boxes for me. So um, it was also in the Central West End. It was right literally on a bus line. I could just walk out the door 100 feet across the street. I could take the bus to the uh, train station, um, walk down, actually walk up the street the opposite way. I can get the bus going towards um, the hospital. So I wasn't very far from the hospitals either. So that condo was um, in a really great area. I had family that lived far from there, so it all worked out with that one. So let's take a look at this condo, and when we get back, we'll go over a little bit more. All right, as we walk into the unit, we walk into a very long hallway that's painted yellow to the left to the right you go into the living quarters first you see a closet right here next you see the kitchen with uh, both the light switches kitchen's very narrow but it has stainless steel appliances double sinks um, also it has a microwave you're going to see here in a couple of seconds but this is the kitchen the countertops really nice granite um, under lighting, um, under cabinet lighting, electric stove, and uh, let's see, there's a refrigerator. Now, as you walk up the kitchen, you walk into the very nicely, nice size living room of uh, dark hardwood floors, wide plank, beautiful floors, nice and shiny. The walls are in a lovely pea green <laughs> next that is the hvac system uh the closet is in the living room looks like some people did some cleaning and left the mops and things in there so uh now we are walking now i'm walking down the hall and i see to my left there is another small closet which could be used as either a pantry or maybe even a linen closet Really nice, already has shelving in there, so you don't have to do any of that extra work. Um, now that is the front door and that is the entry hallway right there. Next is the washer and <laughs> is the uh, bathroom with a in-unit combo washer and dryer you see right there. Floors, very nice floors in this unit. Nice size vanity. I'm right now looking at the washer and dryer combo because I've never seen one of those in person. I've only seen those in YouTube videos over in the UK. Now you see the um, shower and tub surround. Um, nice size shower, nice size bathroom. Like I said, that is the combo washer and dryer. <laughs> that, that just weirded me out. I've never seen it. Um, there is the under cabinet, the uh, under sink storage. Not bad, pretty decent amount of storage walk down walking out we're talking <laughs> at this moment we're talking first i go into first i go into the back bedroom which i would probably use as my sneaker room very decent size room huge back wall one window and you can see how much light that was coming into that window and that was like five o'clock in the afternoon where the you got that much light in that room uh, next is the walk-in closet, um, where is very high ceilings. It already has shelving in there. So unless you want to move the shelving around, you already have your shelving in there. Like I said, unless you want to put something else in, I go ahead and I have to close the doors because I don't like leaving the doors open when they're not needed. Next, we go into what I probably would use as the main bedroom, two beautiful windows in there. It's kind of small bedroom, but you get a walk-in closet. 
nice walk-in closet and it has a light in the closet where you can see right there as I step out. Uh, carpeting come, goes from in the room into the closet. There is no overhead light. That was, you know, something that I noticed in both bedrooms. And that is all. All right, I'm back and okay. This condo, as you guys saw, um, two bed, one bath, you know, Central West End. It was an older building. I think the building was built back in like the 1910s or 19, yeah, 1910s. I can't remember. I could pull it up on Zillow, but I don't feel like it right now. But anyway, let's talk about this one. Did I, let me, well, first let me do pros and cons first. Pros and cons. Pros of the condo was the location, especially the location. The location was great. Um, like I said, it was right on a bus line. I had family that lived nearby. I wasn't far from the hospitals. Um, if I was riding, I'm not, I wasn't far from the highway. Everything was great for this place. Everything was perfect with that. Um, let's see the space. I mean, it had, it had, a uh, a good amount of closet space. I mean, you had that when you walked in to the, actually to the right, when you walked in, you had that little um, closet that could be either a linen closet or a pantry. You had the coat closet right there. Uh, both bedrooms had pretty nice size closets. You also had the HVAC closet where you could put some things in next to where the um, furnace and everything was. Uh, the apartment was all electric, which was great. All I would have to do is get a cable bill. All I had was electric and cable. That was it. Um, so that was, those were the pros. The cons. The biggest con for me was that combo washer and dryer. That was the weirdest thing. And I had to do research about that because I was like, I, I've only seen those in Europe. So I was really like intrigued and I thought those were really cool. And um, I found out later on that you could get those combos in, um, in RVs. And I, um, I know like New York, New, some New York apartments, they have combo washer and dryers like that too. So um, the bedrooms were not too big, not too small. They were pretty adequate size. So it was, you know, I, I didn't hate it. You know, it was, it was pretty cool. The living room, uh, the living room was wonderful. It was a great size. The hardwood floors were great. Uh, the paint colors, <laughs> that green and yellow. I don't know what they was thinking. I don't know what they was thinking. I don't know what they were thinking. So. Did I put an offer in on this one? I did. Um, I put an offer in a thousand dollars over. Uh, let me see. I looked at it. What was that on a Monday? I looked at it on the 10th. Um, and they accepted my offer the exact next day. So I put an offer in of 116 and they accepted my offer. Um, I had a, what was my closing date? Think, I cannot remember my closing day. My closing day actually was um, Ju July. I think I had a, no, my first closing date was June. Uh, hold on here. I can tell you because I actually have my computer open right here. My first closing date, hi, right here. My first closing date was June 14th. So, I went through everything and um, the, I already had the pre-approval where everything was done, but then I hit a snag with this, with my lender, because at the time I was working at the uh, temp service. So they needed proof of if I was going to be hired on uh, full-time things like that and I was very close to being hired on full-time by that time but they needed to see this funny thing about this situation was they received my checks my the bank that I was going through for my uh, for my home loan they saw my check stubs and my check stubs the name of the staffing agency had said staffing in it. So I didn't understand why they could not, why it didn't click in their heads. So I had to switch lenders in the middle of this. 
Um, well, also there was some other issues because how much I was going to put down, there were some other issues, which was stupid it, because of the way the loan I was getting. I'm trying to do this off memory. The, uh, I thought it was going to be a first time home buyers. I forgot. It was some weird rule. They wanted to know the ratio of renters and owners in the building. And then it just, it was just stupid. So talk to Tiffany. Uh, Tiffany hooked me up with her friend who, um, with another lender. And I believe they are friends uh, with her favorite lender, uh, Derek over at USA mortgage. Went over there, talked to Derek on the phone. He was like, okay, uh, send me this, 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 and this. No, he just sent me a link. He sends an email to, to um, Tiffany and he's like, okay, send me this, 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 and this. I was like, I guess I'm getting ready to start over. So I started over, got pre-approved, got everything going. My closing date got pushed to 7-2, which I have that up on the screen. My closing date got pushed to 7-2 cool everything was jetting through within all this time now within the second lender i get a new job <laughs> well no i i'm interviewing for jobs at the same time but they were like don't accept the job don't start a new job in the middle of this or we have to start this all over so i was like okay i'll just interview but let them know i can't start until after closing that that's a loophole just to let y'all know, if you never knew a loophole, that's a loophole. You cannot start a job while you're in the middle of closing on a home. You can interview, but you have to let them know, hey, look, I can't start this job until, okay, I'm closing on my house on the second. I can't start my job until after the second. So that following Monday, which would be great. Just do it like that. So all of that goes through, boom, 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 boom. We get close to closing and then there were hiccups. The hiccups weren't on my end, thank God. All the hiccups were on the end of the condo association in that building. Um, found out their finances were not very good, which was really sad. Um, Cause I, I'm not gonna get into too many particulars, but it was either they were gonna have to give up all their, you know, let everybody know, let the lender know everything. Or I was going to have to come off more money to for more, put down more money for my home. And I was not putting down any more money. I didn't have any more money to put down and I wasn't going to try to come up with more money. It was not happening. So that was it. So uh, the decision was made. I want to say it was like the following because my date kept getting pushed back from seven to then it got pushed back to what was it like the following week. And after that, I walked away from it because it was just too much and it was too many red flags when the first lender that issue. I was like, OK, fine, I can find a new lender. And I know so many people that had to, I know people that changed lenders multiple times. I know somebody that changed uh, um, realtors several, a uh, couple of times. So thank God I didn't have to change a realtor, but I changed my lender and that was the best thing I could ever do for myself. So I, um, I walked away from it. It was a bit of a heartbreak, but I realized this was not my home. If I had to go through jump through this many hoops and go through all this stuff it wasn't my home so I um I walked away from it you know it was it wasn't you know I mean I still have a bit of you know I kind of it kind of annoys me to this day that I walked away but then the more I think about it it wasn't my home and right now I'm sitting in my home so um I'm okay about it now I am. I'm okay about it. It just sucked. But it didn't, that suck feeling didn't last that long. Because <laughs> next week you're going to see another condo. <laughs> um, 
one condo left until you get to see this condo. So next week is the last one. Uh, is next week the last one? I think next week is the last condo before you see the, see, you see my actual home. So, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm, um, just had to, I tried to have to get through that as quickly as possible. Cause this video, I didn't want it to run any longer than any of the previous ones. Uh, special thanks. <laughs> now we get to the special thanks part of the video special thanks to my realtor tiffany hamilton of hamilton realty Derek jackson of usa mortgage my family um my sisters my mom my nieces my nephew my, my my whole family you know they 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 were there with me even if i didn't get to talk to them they were with me in spirit so they were with me everybody was with me um Let's see who else, who else. Well, I mean, just everybody I've been thanking, you know, Bozo the Clown. No, I'm just joking. No, he wasn't Bozo the Clown this year for Halloween. This year he was show enough of Harlem. If I have a picture, I will post it right here. You guys know who I'm talking about. Um, let me see. The the moo, the cat, of course. I'm gonna thank her. <laughs> I'm thanking everybody. But yeah, that's really it um for this video but we are almost done. We are almost done. Um, if you guys like videos like this and you want to see more videos like this about my homeowner's journey, if you guys want me to do a deeper dive, things like that, if you all just want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like subscribe. Um, uh, those are free of charge. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell because I know last week I was a little late posting on Instagram, letting, reminding you guys that the video had dropped. Uh, please, please, please hit that notification bell. Cause like I said, sometimes I'm late. Like last week I was cleaning. Well, not this room, but I was cleaning other parts of the place. So <laughs> when I wasn't, and I forgot to po to uh, let you guys know, but please don't forget nine o'clock central standard time, new video drops next week, the next to last condo, the next to last. And then you get to see my home. So I'm gonna get out of here and cause I need to do my hair and, um, I just gotta get out of here. Um, let me go. Uh, if you guys have any questions, talk to me below in this video here on YouTube. So the YouTube algorithm will at least know that you all like seeing these videos. So I'm gonna get on out of here. Love, peace, hair products, home journeys, lifestyles, and all that fun stuff. Bye.